Today on our Easy Weeknight Meals, we're making a very special back-to-school recipe for cheese and turkey waffwich. I love to make elaborate recipes on the weekends, but come midweek, I'm out of prepared meals and so tempted to order takeout. Using a few shortcut strategies and a mad dash to the store for fresh and even store-bought products, you will get a tasty plate of home-cooked food on the table for your family in under an hour. Welcome to Cravings Food Adventures, easy weeknight meals. Welcome back to Craving Sweet Adventures. If I look super happy, it's because it's back to school and all of our kids are back to school and university. My older son has already gone away to university and my younger son starts high school in a couple of days. Now this week, we're going to be preparing some amazing recipes to send with them to ease them into the new school routine. I'm going to be preparing a watch. Pray, what is a waffwich? I hear you saying it's a combination of a waffle with a sandwich. I'm going to prepare a savory waffle with cheese and herbs, and I'm going to grill it together with some cheese and turkey. This is a great recipe for dinner, but also a great recipe to take to school for lunch the next day. Before I go any further with the recipe, to make sure you're subscribed to my channel, I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. Also, make sure to ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Let's start with some flour, grated cheese, salt and sugar, parsley, baking powder, pepper, an egg, some milk, butter, sliced turkey, and cheese. Sift one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and I'm just going to add two teaspoons of baking powder to this and I'm also going to add one teaspoon each of sugar and salt. Add one teaspoon of pepper and mix everything together well. Next, mix together all the wet ingredients. Start with one egg, one and a half cups of milk, a half cup of melted butter. This is just a stick of butter that I just melted down in the microwave and I've cooled. Mix this well and then add the pre-sifted flour in about two additions and mix this really well. Add one tablespoon of chopped parsley and one cup of grated cheese. When you mix this batter, just make sure not to over mix this as you want these waffles to be really nice and fluffy and over mixing will make them quite dense. I have a very simple and basic waffle iron and you need to make sure that it's turned on and hot before you add your batter. I'm going to spray this with oil and then I'm going to add about 3 fourths of a cup. Now this depends on the size of your waffle iron and I'm going to spread out the batter as much as possible and I'm going to allow this to cook. This should take anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes. I'm just going to flip this over and then back to its original position. Now let me just check this to see if it's done. It's looking good, but I just want to crisp this up a little bit more. Once cooked, I'm going to add some sliced cheese, followed by some sliced turkey, or any other meat of your choice. I'm going to flip the other half of the waffle over, and I'm going to close the waffle iron and press down so the cheese melts. Now you can also cook all of the waffles at the same time and just stick them in your oven for that cheese to melt down. This is now ready. Remove and keep aside. Yum. This is the perfect waffwich. Crispy savory waffles stuffed with more cheese and turkey. Mmm. This batch is good for four sandwiches and I'm going to cook up the rest and once they're done, this is ready to serve. Thank you so much.
so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for grilled cheese and turkey waffle. This is great for your kids, but also the adults love it as well. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. I upload new videos every week. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Also, make sure to ring the bell. That's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you on your mobile device every time I upload a new video. Also, make sure to follow me on all of my social channels. I upload a ton of behind the scenes footage there. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time. Have a fabulous week, guys. Take care. Bye.